Hey, I'm Ivy Supersonic, and welcome to the Art of Mysticism. This is my art studio. I've been here um, for, today is my one month anniversary, and uh, I'm a painter, and I use uh, watercolors, and I'm painting with watercolors on canvas. Hello, if, listen, if no one's there, could maybe one of the spirits at least just open the, the door? Okay, thanks. Oh my God, I love What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This is amazing! <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! This is an amazing apartment. I am enjoying very much yeah. all these pictures of you with the different rock stars, Gene Simmons, um, I see Gilby Clark, Tommy Lee in your hat, Steven <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> Ah, oh, Steven Th Tyler, yeah. There Steven you go. Tyler. I can totally see though why spirits, if they were in the general vicinity, why they would want to come over here. Oh my God, Liam Gallagher's Night with Hat Queen Ivy. That's amazing. Oh my God, there's a picture. I don't want it to fall. Wait. Oh! oh! Wow. wow. This is Look at this. awesome. You saved Look us at all this I time. Saved oh my oh, gosh. I it's like 20 years, Jess. 20 years. I and, have it. Oh, I have it. This is actually, I'm really intrigued with this. Whoa. Well, hold on a minute. Is this the, this is, oh my God. What we're about to look at is the collection of paintings Ivy has done and all of these have spirits in them. I think that looks good. She's never had any art training, any paint training. She just started putting it to the canvas and voila. Well, I didn't know what was happening with you, but I knew what I saw. I saw, but then you started turning the paintings upside down. I saw a descent of souls or uh, history. Like, you know, when you see the layers in, uh, in, uh, in the rocks in Yellowstone, or you see the layers of, of civilizations. Should I bring you the big painting of this? I'm seeing original? an Egyptian god on Pharaoh's bring, temple. I'm, stay right there. <laughs> it just changes, Ivy. It changes. Here's a woman who's been wrapped. She died. She's right here. You see her? Yes. She died, and they wrapped her in cloth. When did you do this? Uh, hold on. Uh, it was the beginning painting, De uh, December 29th. It was the oh sixth god. day of Hanukkah. This was the beginning. Look at all these tombs. Can you see these tombs? And it's starting to glow a little bit. Let's see if anything happens. Let's give it a few minutes. Yeah, it's a mummy. What the S? Have, have you ever seen a mummy? A mummy? That's been unwrapped. Shit. They look, they look just like that. I've seen Todd unwrapped. You've seen him unwrap? Mm -hmm. Oh, what does it look like? At the Cairo Museum. He looks like he's black. He's very, very. He looks like he's been it. charred, and and it, and his mouth's open like that, like that, with the with what used to be the teeth. All right, David, look at this now. I know, because a minute ago it was the face, but it's still it's turning into something else. It's his soul coming out of his mouth. These these are called spirit. This is called spirit paintings. Mm -hmm. I'm a spirit artist. You know, you may know me as a, as a hat designer for rock stars, but in the last four months, I've changed uh, whatever it is that I do, and I'm now a psychic artist. Well, you seem to capture something. You know, you, you, you definitely are in tune. This painting has been developing and developing and developing, and what I'm doing is, you know, I'm using light. So I'm putting a lot of light, like the spirit is coming to the light, that I'm using um, these big magnifying glasses. What's that? Okay, the, the head here, uh -huh. the arm extended, and here's his leg on the, looking on, like he's riding on the uh, back of a um, scorpion. Like right here, I see all these men. Mm -hmm. Look at all these men. Mm -hmm. They don't even look human. They look subhuman. They don't look like they're from this planet or this earth. The paintings want to be in the world, and you are the closest to it, and they're painting with you and through you. You know, you're bringing them into the world, you're a medium, and it's working through your unconscious, through your subconscious, and it's coming through the art, 
And that's magic, you know? It's spiritual, it's possibly science. Why not? If it's authentic to you, then what's to say that like your soul isn't in touch with like science, you know, with, well, with, ultimate, with the ultimate reality? I think that's the true value of artists, it's just to like paint what's in their soul. And then everything's gonna kind of catch up. So does it look different in your phone? It does. It does, right? It, yeah. it like comes out. It's, it's like not, a, yeah, I don't know. So you could see, here's the lamb. Here's what I think is Jesus. And here are the disciples. My friend Lisa Cohen said, this is the last supper. It looks like the upper room. Yeah, where they had the, uh, it looks like they're all sitting around the table. <laughs> Uh, wishing Jesus a, a nice uh, death and resurrection. What is happening is something's coming through you, and suddenly, by the way, because I've known you for a number of years, and you never did this before. Right. And this is what, since de December? December 19th. Some of it's ugly. <laughs> some of it's scary. And some of it's like the depths, like a Dante's Inferno. You're like a conduit. Am I looking at like the march on Selma? You've opened up another world. Is what you've done. Yeah. Who is this wizard? Uh huh. And he turned. This turns into a girl playing the piano. Oh yeah. So when you photograph them, <laughs> Whoa. Oh, when you photograph Hello. them, who's that one? <laughs> who is that? Oh, this one. Yeah. This. I don't know who this man is, but uh -huh. do you know who either men is? These are two men. Sometimes it's like Native Americans. Sometimes it's like a. Well, like this one reminds me of the god Odin you see upside down. Is then the, and you reverse it, you have of him right side up and upside down. So this, so this was the mirror image. Yeah. So this is a four, this is four of them. Uh -huh. So, so it only, it was only, th this was the picture to start with. Look at the Buddha eyes, yeah. Oh, Buddha eyes. The Egyptian god Happy is the god of the Nile, and he's a baboon. H-A-P-I. It could be the eye of Horus, but H-O-R-U-S. Which is a yeah, yeah. Egyptian thing. Here, here's the crown of thorns. Here's the face. There's a crown of thorns in here. Yeah. Here's the face. Uh huh. Eyes. Hair. Uh huh. Oh, crown. Jesus is one inch within the painting. This looks like a Mandela from India. Here is a sultan. You see, here is a sultan. This, a sultan. Is this is India. This is either Pakistan or Nepal. He's a, a, a seer, a, a guru, or somebody who lived a long time ago, and this is his, this is an insignia that was possibly on a temple. I see like a Ku Klux Klan or the beginnings of Catholicism or Greek Orthodox. And I saw this. Where is it? Came out of here. Oh, this is Indian. This it's is not, definitely a, India, Indian. Really? This is definitely the colors, the heart, the heart cave. There's so much symmetry and balance going on in that section. It's like crazy, especially this one. Uh -huh. This one is definitely like, I'm just seeing like to, the Crowley Tarot deck and just like angels and just like those images of like the cosmos where it's like all these swirling circles and like, you know, earth, heaven, like the next world. It's, it just seems to have so much to say, but it reminds me of alchemy. Reminds me of the kind of the hidden always hiding in plain sight, you know? And only like an elect type of person could understand what's hidden in the parable, in the image, in the story, in the, you know, in the chemical formula. Now that I, I, I feel like I want to say I've arrived, you know, I, I've arrived. I love that you're doing the Facebook Lives and inviting people up here. That's like another way to like reacquaint yourself with the paintings from different perspectives. You know, I studied with um, Timothy Tim Leary, Leary and uh, Dick Alpert, Baba Ramdas, when we would sit with Robbie Shankar and we would study doors of perception, going out of the body. When you lift the veil in Buddhism, mm -hmm. Kabbalah, I don't care mm -hmm. what it is, Catholicism, mm -hmm. all these organized religions are saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. You lift the veil and then you see things that you're not really supposed to see while you're living here on this earth in this short little life. Do you think that the spirits that are appearing here, they're trying to basically uh, express things that they, they didn't have a chance to before they died, and that's why they're coming back now to be in the painting, because they never got a chance to actually let their truth out? 
they died mysteriously or suddenly and never had a chance to, to let the world know what they wanted to communicate? Everything you need to know is within you. Uh, Jesus, the kingdom of God is within you. Okay. Buddha, everything you need to know is within you. You have the power of the universe within you. What you're doing is you're provoking, you're opening them up in some kind of magical way. So up in here is this um, face which looked look like an alien. And then I see there's a staircase. There's a st and this is a long purple staircase. So all of it seems to be mixed. Like this is a Buddha head. And then this is another Buddha, and this is a waterfall. Well, we're going to um, the man that is the best psychic in all of New York, Frank Andrews. We're going to his house. Real house, you know? It's so, like, housey. I love it. These are the original floorboards. Oh, my God. And that's the portrait that Andy did <gasps> of me before he died. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so cool. You predicted that um, the designer should not Perry get on the plane. Ellis. Perry, Ellis. Perry Ellis should not get on well, the plane, said, and it I crashed. You shouldn't go to um, Fire Island in the plane. Uh huh. And that crashed. Uh, oh, the, yeah. The Yoko was is amazing. The Yoko, I love it. Oh my gosh! Wow. Wow. This is like. This is just amazing here. You predicted um, John Lennon's death. Did you t you told Yoko Ono? Well, I told her, and I got upset because she, she went and tell told him. she told him. Oh. And then oh. he said, "Do you think I'll live to 40? And I said, "Look, I don't know. I, I wanted to get out of it. It was very embarrassing because I don't like to talk about it. I don't even know why I said it to her. Anyway, but I did, uh -huh. and uh, I saw uh -huh. this vision of blood pouring out of him, and actually, oh. that's how he died. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so I, he said, "Will I live to 40? And I said, "I don't know." And anyway, he died at 40. Yeah, the hangman means like somebody who's caught in a state of suspension. In oh. order to uh, get out of it, you have to sacrifice something, give up something. In other words, oh. uh, change the job. This is what's left of it is wow. the sun. You can hardly see it. It means happiness. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what is that, Frank? What does that mean? What is that? What was that? No, was that know. something I weird? Know. Just yeah, leave it alone. Oh, oh, just stop using the word weird. We can do that. Okay, oh, it's just okay. it's just it's natural. That's all. Oh. I mean, <laughs> that's very funny. Did you get that? Did you did yeah, you see over. that? Do it again. Put it down. Frank, are you doing See, that? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> are you doing? Are you? Okay? I'm not here. Go uh -huh. ahead. Go ahead. I'll I'll go here. Go ahead. <laughs> it's energy. That's what it's all about. It's energy.